Hi guys, um, welcome to this uh, GeoServer tutorial. Uh, and uh, last time we had looked at uh, exploring the GeoServer user interface. And uh, we are going to, right now in this tutorial, we are going to look at uh, a few things. And uh, among them, we will. Uh, uh, this tutorial first of all assumes that you have knowledge on uh, vector uh, geospatial data. Uh, raster and raster geospatial data and that you are familiar with also uh, installing the geo server so we will uh, in this tutorial we look at how to upload or how to uh, add uh, some geospatial data and in this case we will use uh, vector and raster uh, data data sets so uh, we'll just first of all we'll just log in And uh, we will look at these. Uh, this is a user interface. Uh, by default, this is how it contains 19 layers, 9 stores, and 7 workspaces. So what we will do, since uh, we may not be interested in these layers, we will just uh, check the... We'll start uh, with the layers. We will check all these layers, and then we just uh, remove them. This is just like we have unpublished them. Okay, they were published so we will unpublish them and then we'll go to the store and then we'll also remove the selected stores and then we'll also look at the workspaces and we will remove the selected workspaces and uh, now we will start from you know from scratch we will uh, start by creating a workspace so a workspace is like a container it's like a container that uh, you know uh, uh, folder kind of it's like a working folder in this case so we'll just create a new workspace and uh, we will just uh, maybe we can call it uh, Athena uh, workspace workspace and for the URI I'll just leave it as it is and then I will check this as a, to be the default workspace and then for the security i'll just leave the properties as they are and it's actually saying that the uri is necessary but i'll leave it as it is and then i'll just save so it keeps on it still says that the uri is important so i'll just set it up there as it is at the inner workspace and uh, if i go to security it will ask who has uh, rights to this so i'll just leave these as default uh, so in your case you can just add Athena workspace and also the workspace URI you add the Athena workspace and ensure you have checked it as the default workspace and then you save. So you can create multiple workspaces depending on what or the theme of what you are doing. Uh, if it is imagery, if it is image analysis, if you want to store images and and uh, raster sorry vector data in different images then you can uh, maybe set up different workspaces. And then we will look at the stores. So you remember we looked at the stores in our previous video. So in this case, we'll only work with vector and uh, raster data sources. And uh, I already have my special data, but I, I need to arrange this data so that such that it is in one directory. And I will show you how. So I will open my uh, GIS. Uh, folder I've set it up as raster and vector so in this vector I'll just create a new folder and I'll just call it uh, geo uh, maybe I can call it vector data source underscore source and um, I have this data from GADM so if you need data to for your testing i will add this jdm link below in the description below but you there's a video that i've created on uh, or a tutorial on how to access different uh, data sets yeah, also using the qgis you can check it in the qgis playlist that i'll also share in the description uh, description area below so i'll copy and paste this data i've pasted it here uh, I'll also add some layer data that I had created earlier some time back uh, for Sentinel scenes uh, spanning across uh, Kenya uh, in a country in East Africa 
and I will also add it here vector under vector data source I will paste it there I'll come back to vector data source I had also created a layer uh, some time back for Landsat uh, I think it's a Landsat 8 paths spanning across uh, Kenya as well and also I'll also add these Kenya counties that I had used at the time so I'll paste also that data inside this folder and now we have at least three or uh, around four shape files four shape files and uh, there's some data I had downloaded from S3 Open Hub, but this one I'll just leave it. So I'll just work with this uh, folder, which is uh, under vector, vector data source. So I will cut this folder and uh, add it in the, somewhere in like the local disk C and paste it there as vector data source. So I will close my window. So ensure you have a directory as it's, we want to add a directory of shape files. A directory of shape files so it need to it needs to have the shape files in the root uh, or the parent directory so they should not be in a subdirectory so they should be a place like this or arranged like this in a folder so i'll just close that and i will click directory of shape files i want to add my data into adina workspace and the data source name i can also refer to it as adina uh, I'll just call it Adina uh, SL. Uh, I can add a description. Maybe I can call it a, a vector files, vector files for different usages. So you can add uh, your relevant description to your uh, directory or your store that you are creating and then now this is the most important part whereby we point these to the directory containing shape file so we'll just click on browse and then we will select uh, local disk C and I have my folder here which is vector data source and it has already automatically picked the dot shps uh, and uh, it can also it has also, it's also showing us the sizes so I'll just click OK and now the good thing about this if i want to add more shape files i'll just uh, copy and paste the shape files inside there and they will be registered or picked up by the geo server and then we have the uh, iso standard uh, character set so you can choose if you have a particular one but i'll leave it as it is and then we have something called create special index so Special index helps us in accessing or pro, you know processing the data faster or accessing the data faster uh, because you know very well for example if you have a big layer like for contours or layers of countries let's like, say for the whole world you may want to do some operations later like analysis and all that this special index or even rendering this special index helps in accessing this data faster so we'll uh, leave it as it is since I'm using Windows I won't check this uh whatever this is mapped buffers i'm not sure about the map buffers but you can check it out then we have cache and you reuse memory maps so this one will just also leave it as it is and then we we'll just save so after we have saved this is what we have done we have created a workspace called athena as you can see and then we have all these information that I'm going to go back to shortly. Then we have inside Athena workspace, we have created a store named Athena SL. So you can think of workspace as a very high level uh, kind of directory, for example, or folder. And then inside this folder, we have something, a folder, another folder written Athena SL. Uh, so it's like a hierarchy of sorts. So we can click on uh, stores. Uh, we can go back to workspaces, sorry then you select your workspace so this is how it looks like after you have created it so we may need to enable uh, some of these we may need to enable web map tile service if you, uh, serve other services we may need to enable web feature service and web map service or even all of them if we are going to use them so um, I'll explain why we need to enable this so we can also enable uh, primary contact information if you want or we can leave it as it is so I've just uh, enabled it here by checking this checkbox. 
so I will just uh, save so even if I come back I'll see that these uh, checkboxes uh, have been saved uh, whatever information I had put uh, has been saved so we look at uh, the stores and uh, under the stores you, you see that it has sorry the stores store name Adina. so we have these information that it has also been saved and then now inside our layers we are going to look at uh, we can add a new layer so when you click add a new layer you can uh, you need to select the where you are adding your layer from which is the athena workspace and uh, the athena sl uh, uh, store or athena workspace store sorry athena workspace and the athena sl uh, store so we will publish uh, this information so when we cannot see this information if we click on layer preview because you have not published it so we'll go back to layers add a new layer select your workspace and then we start by we start with publishing so i'll start with these sentinel 2 scenes and uh, you can choose to add some abstract so in this case i'll say sentinel 2 scenes of coverage spanning across Kenya okay so Sentinel is a, a data a constellation of uh, satellites that I think are managed by the European Union and uh, they collect data on different uh, aspects it's used in remote sensing so we can add Sentinel for example Sentinel as one of the keywords um you can also select from here uh, you can select which language you're using so I'll, in this case i'll just stick to english and i uh, can also add a uh, vector you can also add remote sensing for example and leave it as that and you can add the keywords so it has added all these keywords so you can remove them so there's one thing i've noticed i've added three keywords in one line so it is not okay we need to remove that and uh, we add each one as an individual so i'll just add sentinel can also add vector add keyword and i can also add remote sensing so i'll just do this for the first layer but uh, you can also do it in your uh, if you prefer in your all other layers so we can do we can select the coordinate reference system so in this case we are using the global coordinate system so because they normally use a gps handle so which is uh, uses the epsg 4326 or the global coordinate system if you want to select a different coordinate system you can select uh, click on these and now this one just shows you the parameters for the coordinate system and then the declared if you want to change this one you can change it you can find another coordinate system and select it but we are going to use a global coordinate system so we leave these as they are native SRS stands for the layer that the layer SRS the SRS the spatial reference system contained in that layer information and then the declared one is the one that uh, the J server is using so we'll just leave it as it is and we can do some computations so we are com we <coughs> compute these and it displays the bounds the max minimum x value minimum y value maximum x value and maximum y value and then we can uh, just click on save and it has saved so it has been if i come to the layer preview it has been published so that's what you normally refer to as publishing a, a geospatial or a geo server layer or publishing a layer in geo server so this is how it looks like i have done just done a preview using open layers so i'll do the same for the rest quickly and i'll fast forward this video to an area where i've already published uh, all of them so uh, so we have just published um, all the six layers and we can confirm that we can be able to preview them so i'll just click open layers and click on these i can see the these uh, kenya country and if i click on the polygon you notice there's something that appears down here below it 
uh, uh, future ID and all these and the name. So if I click on the second one, um, this is a second administrative level, uh, Kenya. So if I click on different polygons, it shows different. It, the information below here, the, the graph below here changes. So if you, and if I try to click somewhere in between or uh, in the boundary, it will show different uh, layers or different, uh, you know, different information for all the layers. Then I'll can try it in the using the another one. So this is the third administrative level, and you see it is uh, well, uh, the polygons have been split further. And this I think is the uh, sub counties or the words and then we have the Kenya counties layer so if I click on one of these polygons uh, it does not have much information but yeah so that's how it looks like so if I open the final layer or the second last layer so we have the sentinel scenes and the scene ID uh, and also the URL for the download Although I highly doubt these URLs are working, yeah. So that's how we look like. And then if you look at the Landsat, so for the Landsat, this is how it looks like. So if we, I click on one of the polygons, we have this information below here, and you also have some link here. Let's see if it's I'm not sure whether it's working. Yeah, so it cannot. Yeah, it cannot connect. I think it is a. a the FTP yeah, is an FTP link, so it's trying to say that it wants to open with an application. So yeah, so this is the how you can add your vector uh, data sets or vector layers. So in the next uh, step, we will look at how to add raster uh, data sets in uh, GeoServer. So also feel free to click uh, to like this video. Uh, share and subscribe and if you have any comments on uh, maybe how we can add other layers or how we can do certain things using the geo server feel free to uh, comment uh, in the comment section uh, below so thanks for your time like and uh, share and subscribe